Okay, and who among you can agree with me that the way you think can actually affect the way you live? Thank you. So what I'll be talking about today is quite personal. Or sabi nga ni Becker, it doesn't make it right, it doesn't make it wrong, it doesn't make it true, and it doesn't make it false. It's just my own experience. So, please take in everything that you think might be useful and helpful to you, pero um, never mind all the others that doesn't make sense, okay? So, ako lang mag share ako? Yes! Okay. So, ever since I was young, I'm already a positive thinker. I just like it that way. Um, I tend to look at the brighter side and be so easy-go-lucky and just living the way I like to. Parang feeling ko we live in a world of trade-offs. Kumbaga, we need to choose between two things or two state of beings. It's like, I'll study or I'll chill and be happy. It's either I'll do this or I'll be comfortable and be happy. So I always choose to be happy. So when I was in high school, there's this teachers, there's this teacher who once told the class that thoughts have power. That time, I can still remember very clearly na sinulat ko yun sa notebook ko. I don't usually take down notes before, pero that time I did because it made an impact. Feeling ko, it was a validation on why we should think positively. Na, ah, ganun pala. Nakaka-apekto pala yung iniisip natin. So I thought I understood that phrase very well. Akala ko naiintindihan ko na siya, pero actually, hindi pa din pala. And let me share you how my interpretation changed and how I applied it before sa kung paano ko siya ina-apply ngayon. So, dati, iniisip ko yung thoughts of power mainly because I wanted a happy, worthwhile, stress-free journey. So, ganito, example. Example before, we took an exam. And for example, we have a one-week waiting period before the results. So, being the positive thinker that I am and trying to apply yung thoughts of power, iniisip ko, syempre, di ba, papasa ko. Pero, how iniisip kong papasa ako, parang ina-apply ko yun, dun lang sa journey. Parang, I don't care about the result. I just want a happy journey. I mean, dun sa one-week waiting period, gusto ko lang na um, hindi ako nasi-stress. Kumbaga, I was thinking na papasa ako just because I don't want to stress myself. So, yun lang. For example, there's this student, ang si Ella. Siya naman, she's thinking so negatively. Iniisip niya, iniisip niya na babagsak siya. So, nandiyan na yung lahat ng worries and anxieties niya. And probably, um, she's already having this plan B. She's already having this plan B and she's, she already wants to be prepared. Kasi she's anticipating the worst case eh. Don't get me wrong. I mean, having plan B, I, I have nothing against having plan B. Pero that time, feeling ko lang, it was unnecessary to plan for something that you don't know yet. Parang hindi mo pa alam yung result eh. You still have one week. And then, there's these students who think na, shocks babagsak ako, babagsak ako. And then, dun sa one week ng paghihintay nila, parang, di ba, parang dun na lang nag-google. And then, dito ako, parang chill lang. So, ganun ko siya ina-apply dati. Ganun lang. Parang sobrang simple. Ang gusto ko lang, yung journey ko, happy and chill lang. So, for example, nakalipas na yung one week waiting period and then, results na. So, dito, in my case, Dalawa lang naman yan, di ba? Dalawa lang kami na inaantay. It's either I pass or I fail. So what if I pass? If I pass, edi, yay, pasa, di ba? But what if I fail? If I fail, then that's the only time for me to think of plan B, which is quite negative. Pero on my belief dati, with my belief before, ang iniisip ko dati, okay lang, at least hindi ako na-stress dun sa one week. Parang ganun ako before. And then, dito naman, si Ella, Dalawa lang din yan, di ba? It's either she pass or she fail. If she pass, parang pakiramdam ko, nonsense yung lahat ng worries and anxieties niya. This was my belief before, ah. Parang pakiramdam ko, nonsense yung lahat ng iniyak niya and ipinag-alala niya kasi at the end, pasado naman pala siya. And what if she failed? If she failed, pakiramdam ko parang double kill. Kasi parang one week na yon, nag-isip ka na and nag-alala ka na and then biglang yung result, validation, napagsak ka nga. Kung maga, inisip mo na nang inisip na, kung maga, nag-doubt ka na sa sarili mo at inisip mo na nang inisip na babagsak ka and then, here comes the result. You failed. So that's why, before, ganun ko siya i-apply. Na, 
Doon lang ako sa journey nakabase. And then, later on, na time passed by, tuwing ina-incorporate ko tong thoughts of power, na-realize ko na, actually, there's more to it. Hindi lang siya dun sa journey. I realized that those times I believed I'll get favorable results, I actually did. Sa lahat ng panahon na inisip ko, or sa maraming pagkakataon na inisip ko na ito yung mangyayari, and I thought of it, dun sa positive, actually ganun. Na-attract ko siya, may law of attraction na naganap. So, na-realize ko dun na nakaka-apekto nga pala siya on how we do things. So, for example, ulit ah. For example, exams ulit. <laughs> So, gagawin din ko palagi yung exam na example kasi I believe that's something that all of us can relate. So, for example, nag-exam ulit and then hindi ako nakapag-aral. Tapos, for example, hindi rin nakapag-aral si Ella ulit. So, we started the same, right? Pareho kami hindi nakapag-aral. Pero ako, before pa mag-exam, iniisip ko na napapasa ako. Naniniwala ako sa sarili ko. Napapasa ako. Si Ella, nandiyan na lahat ulit yung worries and anxieties niya at iniisip niya na babagsak siya. So guess what our attitude will be during the exam? Siyempre makaka-apekto yan, di ba? During the exam, most probably, si Ella, mag-iisip yan na hindi siya papasa. So, kumaga, probably ipapasa niya ng maaga yung paper niya. Kasi habang nagsasagot ang iniisip niya, shucks, hindi ako nakapag-aral, hindi ko to alam. Hindi ko to alam, hindi ako nakapag-aral. Parang paulit-ulit lang yon, di ba? But are you getting me? Well, on the other hand, There's this me being so confident na papasa ako kasi nga naniniwala ako na papasa ako. Pilit kong pinipiga yung stock knowledge na meron ako kasi naniniwala ako na papasa ako. I'll tell you, kung nandun ako, kung looking back, tuwing nagsasagot ako ng exam, I'll never, I never live anything black. Kasi parang, paano ako papasa? So, ibig sabihin, kailangan sagutan ko na sagutan, pilitin at pilitin kong sagutan. Kasi that's the way, I think, kung mag- Naniniwala ako, napapasa ako. Eh, paano ako papasa kung I, I don't do something about it? So, after the exam, di ba parang mas nagkaroon ng validation si Ella na posible siyang bumagsak? Kasi she passed the paper earlier than usual. Tapos ang dami pa niyang hindi nasagutan. Well, me, on the other hand, hindi ko sinasabing papasa ako, di ba? Kaya lang, on the other hand, nagkaroon ako ng something to hold on to. Na parang, baka naman ito mama dun sa mga sinagutan ko, di ba? Are you following? So, that way, na-realize ko na nakaka-apekto pala siya on how we do things. And from being, or from from applying, from trying to apply yung thoughts of power dun sa worry-free and stress-free na journey, parang na-realize ko na somehow nakaka-apekto pala siya dun sa result. So, that was the way I dealt with things before. Mainly, dun lang yon, Parang sobrang simple lang nung nung tinitingnan ko. And then, saka ko lang na-realize that what we feed our mind is very essential. Kasi, nakaka-apekto yan. Kung baga, um, sabi nga nila, di ba, you cannot win a battle that you already think is lost. Again, you cannot win a battle that you already think is lost. How can you win if you keep thinking that you're losing? How can you build a business kung hindi ka naniniwala dun sa product or service na ino-offer mo. Tayo din, how can we trade? Paano tayo makakapag-trade ng maayos if we keep asking ourselves kung parang sa atin ba to? Are you following? Kung palagi natin iisipin na shocks ang hirap para sa atin ba to, pa- paano tayo magsasucceed? Kung palagi tayong may doubt sa sarili natin, how can other people believe in us kung tayo mismo have doubts? So doon, na-realize ko na what we feed our mind is very important. And let me share you yung isang narinig ko na sobrang, sobrang nagkaroon ng impact sa akin. Sabi doon, the biggest killer of success is lack of belief. The biggest killer of success or the biggest killer of your dreams is your lack of belief. Kasi the moment you don't believe in yourself, the moment you don't believe in yourself, You start to question your abilities and you start to question what you can do. Pag hindi ka naniwala sa sarili mo, nandiyan na yan lahat, magsasabay-sabay na yan lahat. And you can't be so skillful over one thing. I know a lot of us, kumaga, marami sa atin ang, ang may gustong um, area na kumaga mag-excel tayo. We can be so skillful on that one area, pero that one thought, 
that one doubt can easily can easily block your success that one doubt can easily block your success and also sabi nila yun the word na i am the words i am are very powerful kasi daw kung ano man daw yung isunod nating salita dun sa i am that will mean a lot so for example i am beautiful I am unique. I am loved. Di ba? Parang masarap pakinggan kung ganun. Pero what if I keep saying, or we keep saying, I am a failure. I am stupid. I am worthless. Di ba parang may impact? Di ba parang, paano ka mong motivate kung ikaw mismo? You keep doubting yourself. How can you proceed on the next step kung ikaw mismo ang dami mong worries and anxieties and palagi mong kinikwestiyon yung sarili mo? Here, kung sabi nila, thoughts lead to our feelings. Kaya dapat maging careful tayo dun sa mga iniisip natin. I mean, we can control our minds. We can feed good things, positive things. We can listen to videos that keep telling us that our thoughts can affect positively dun sa way na pag-act natin on certain things. I mean, we can achieve our goals with the positive things na nilalagay natin sa sarili natin. Yun yung start. Yun yung starting point. And one of the things na palagi ko sinasabi sa sarili ko, or one of the declarations that I always do, Tuwing nagkakaroon ko ng doubts is I am capable of achieving great things. Greater things. And every time na sinasabi ko to, palagi kong vinivisualize, palagi kong iniisip all the things I wanna achieve. Kahit imposible pa yon sa ngayon. Kahit imposible pa yon sa ngayon, iniisip ko yon kasi naniniwala ako na you know, someday, someday I'll be able to achieve it. It all starts here in our mind, in our thoughts. So, can you do it with me, yung declaration? I am capable of achieving great things. Greater things. Do you believe in yourself? Yes. Do you believe you're capable of achieving great things? Yes. Greater things? Yes. Good. So, this year, this year, parang feeling ko nangyari yung mga improvements dun sa thoughts ko. I thought I was making a lot of improvement kasi I was working hard sa pag-improve ng mindset ko. Pero actually, akala ko lang pala. Because nagkamali ako thinking na yung ginagawa kong actions was progress. Hindi pala porket may ginagawa ka, may progress ka. That's the difference. Akala ko, since basa ako ng basa ng ganito, since lagay ako ng lagay ng positive things sa utak ko, nagmumove ako, nagmumove forward ako, until one day, nagising na lang ako, and I realize I'm still stuck. I'm still here. I'm still in my comfort zone. Sabi ko, bakit walang nangyayari? Bakit walang progress? Nasaan na yung thoughts of power? And I realized that thoughts of power, pero also, we need to put action. Kasi yung una, yung kinuwento ko kanina na sabi ko naapektuhan yung action ko, di ba? Kasi nagsagot ako ng maayos sa exam. Di ba? You remember yung example ko kanina? Actually, that was in action pala. Kasi bakit hindi ako nag-aral? Are you, are you following? Naapektuhan yon, nakatulong yon, nakakatulong yon, yung may law of attraction, pero kung umpisa pa lang, nilalagyan ko na ng action, Sana hindi na ako dumating dun sa panahon na hope na lang yung hinahawakan ko. ba? And so I realized that we really need to do something towards our goal. Ako kasi, parang nangyari sa akin early this year, parang gumigising ako every day and I'm so inspired and iniisip ko na I'll be successful, I'll be a profitable trader, I'll be, I'll be rich. Pero wala pala akong ginagawang concrete plans. Wala pala akong concrete plans. Wala pala akong ginagawang actions to take it. I procrastinate. 
And that's why na-delay yung success or na-delay yung success. Di ba? Kasi sinasabi ko na yun na sinasabi, pero habang sinasabi ko, parang wala naman pala akong ginagawa. Hanggang sa narealize ko, I need to step out of my comfort zone. So, paano ko yun ginawa? First, I became aware of my limiting beliefs. Marami pala akong limiting beliefs regarding rich people. Meron ba dito mga maten ng MMI? Diba? Na-realize natin yung mga limiting beliefs natin. Actually, it helped me a lot. Kasi I realized na ang tingin ko pala sa mga mayayaman, they probably did something bad or is probably doing something bad. Kaya sila mayaman. Sorry ah, ano ko yun, belief ko yun before. Na ganun pala ako dati, na parang naniniwala pala ako na kaya yung mayaman ang yung mayaman, yung mayayaman. It's because may ginagawa silang something unfair. Until saka ko lang na-realize na, bakit sa kanila ako tumitingin? Bakit hindi ako tumingin dito sa mga successful na kaya naging successful kasi ginawa nila yung lahat nila. Lahat ng efforts nila. Di ba? Parang yung mga nagsimula sa wala din, pero they strived para marating dito. Bakit dito ako tumitingin? Bakit doon ako tumitingin sa... Bakit hindi ako dito tumitingin? Bakit doon ako tumitingin sa unfair? Kaya nagkaroon ako ng limiting beliefs. And I also, I believed before that rich people are unhappy. Kala ko dati, hindi sila masaya. Akala ko they're materialistic and they're greedy. Pero kailangan mo lang palang itweak ng konti. Kasi, paano ako magiging one of them? Kung ang dami kong limiting beliefs, kung naniniwala ako na hindi ako dapat maging katulad nila kasi ganito sila. Are you following? So before, parang ganun yung paniniwala ko until na-realize ko na no. Actually, they're happy. Because they, ha they have freedom. Nagagawa nila yung gusto nila at their own time. Hindi sila stuck sa 8 to 5 work. Do you get me? I was, I, I, I changed this belief. And also, inalam ko kung ano ba yung issues ko, yung mga psychological hang-ups ko. I realized, I was just not aware, I was just not fearing failure. Hindi lang pala ako takot mag-fail. Takot din ako mag-succeed. Pwede ba yun? Pwede ba yung takot kang mag-fail pero takot ka din mag-succeed? I realized I had a fear of failure and I had a fear of succeeding. Bakit? Kasi naniniwala ako dati na pag nag-succeed ka, you'll have a lot of responsibilities. And a lot of people will judge you pag naging successful ka. Kaya takot pala ako nun. Takot akong gawin yung first step ko kasi takot ako mag-fail. Pero pag nakapag-step na ako, takot din ako mag-continue kasi takot ako ma-judge. Or takot ako sabihin ng tao na parang bata pa yan or ganito yan, ganyan. Takot ako mawala ng friends. Takot akong pag na ako at binigay ko lahat ng attention ko towards my goal, paglingon ko, wala na akong friends. Hindi, hindi ko sila nabigyan ng time or, or naging unfair ako sa other responsibilities ko because I was focused here. And I need to change these limiting beliefs. I need to be aware kung ano ba talaga yung mga psychological hang-ups ko na pumipigil sa akin papunta dito. I realized also that me being so positive was actually negative. Yun yung tinutukoy ko kanina na I procrastinate. I thought na I had a lot of time. Meron ba ganit, ganun dito? Yung madalas na late kasi pakiramdam nila ang haba pa ng oras nila tapos biglang sabihin natin, five minutes, sige, kaya pa yan. Tapos biglang late ka na naman. Ako, ganun ako eh. Especially before. Pero now, ano na lang, konti na lang. <laughs> kasi nga, I was so positive and I kept thinking na may time pa. Kaya ko pa yan, bata pa ako. Sobrang dami kong ganong iniisip na hindi ko alam na nakakapigil pala sa akin, hindi ko alam na these positive thoughts are actually negative. Tinutulungan nila ako para madelay yung success. Which is not good, di ba? And so, nung umatend ako ng MMI, have you heard about this train the trainer? Yes! So, dito, nung sinabi yun, first reaction ko, shocks ang mahal. Di ba? Ang mahal ng mga programs nila. Sabi ko, hindi ko kaya to. I, I, I am a saver. And, meron ba dito mga saver? Yan. Di ba? Yung mga saver, di ba parang sumasakit yung loob natin pag gumagastos tayo? Yung kahit gusto mo na yung isang bagay, pag nabili mo, masaya ka naman. Pero pag uwi mo, pag tinignan mo, parang, shucks, worth it ba? Di ba? Parang, parang masakit para sa atin yung mag-spend. And that's why parang ayokong mag-apply nung una sa train the trainer. Sabi ko, 
ayoko, baka hindi maging worth it, baka, baka pag nag-take ako niyan, after niyan, hindi ko naman magamit, sayang. It costs a lot. And I mean a lot. I mean, a lot. <laughs> Na para sa akin, malaking ano yon, malaking pera talaga. So, pag uwi ko, sabi ko, gusto ko talaga. Kaya ko lang nalaman na gusto ko talaga, dumating sa point na I was crying. Sabi ko, I wanted to speak. I wanted to talk. I wanted to be a speaker. I wanted to add value to other people's life. I wanted to inspire others. Pero paano ko gagawin yun kung hindi mo ako practice This is my first talk, by the way. Sabi ko, <laughs> sabi ko, paano ko gagawin yun kung nandito lang ako, takot ako. Takot ako humarap, takot ako ma-judge, takot ako magkamali. Sabi ko, paano ko gagawin yun? So kinabukasan, nag-apply ako sa train the trainer. And guess what? Hindi lang train the trainer. Train the trainer. I applied for the whole Quantum Leap program. So, after I signed up for the Quantum Leap program, nung kinocompute ko, sabi ko, shocks, this costs more than my annual gross income. Annual gross income. Gross na nga, annual na. Mas malaki pa yung Quantum Leap program. Pero sabi ko, kailangan ko to. I mean, I need to do something. Kasi kung sasabihin ko sa sarili ko, kasi ang tumatak ko sa isip ko nun, next year na ako mag apply Pero kung next year ako mag apply iniisip ko, ganun pa rin kaya yung desire ko? O kaya, if I delay that, ganun lang, madedelay lang ng madedelay. Eh, ganun din naman. Magbabayad din naman ako next year. Probably, baka mas mahal pa. So sabi ko, bahala na. I'll try this. And then, nabanggit ko yun kay Cap, so he invited me to talk here. And actually, the first thing na sinabi, first thing na inisip ko nung sinabi niya na mag-talk dito, sabi ko, hindi naman ako magaling sa kahit anong area. So sabi ko, ano sasabihin ko? Yun yung tumatak ko sa isip ko. Pero bago pa dumami yung worries and anxieties ko, I replied yes. Sabi ko, sige po. Kasi kakatapos lang nun ng MMI, sabi sa MMI, you should be an excellent receiver. So sabi ko, yes. Tapos after nung yes, saka na naman tumakbo yung, yung thoughts, yung worries. Pero ba? thoughts have power. What we feed our mind is important. So ang iniisip ko, kaya ko yun. Kasi kung hindi ko yun kakayanin, paano ko, paano ko magiging speaker someday? If, if I cannot do that, kung parang kung hindi ako magpa-practice and kung hindi ako magtitake ng first step ko, how can I achieve my goal? Hanggang goal na lang ba yun? Of course hindi, di ba? Of course, gusto natin ma-achieve kung ano man yung gusto natin. Kaya dapat, we should do something towards that goal. No matter what it takes, kahit gaano pa nakakatakot yun, kahit gaano pa kadami yung tumatakbong worries sa isip mo. Because when you start to doubt yourself, you start to kill your dreams. So just let me just end this by saying, Yung isang um, famous quote na I'm sure, I'm sure narinig niya na. Pero I wanted to remind you that whether you think you can or you think you cannot, you are right.